Sarah's just unique. Unique in that um, she came in as a footballer at about the age of um, 14 and I, I didn't know who Sarah Robertson was and I, I watched her on the pitch, this girl who was in football boots and football shorts and a football top and I was going, I was going, who's that girl? Who's that girl? Because her awareness, her spatial awareness, her, if you like, her pitch geography, what, her athleticism was incredible. Technically, not great, but you were, you know, you knew right from the start that if she decided to choose hockey, she would be, she would be world class. But if she decided to be football, she would also be world class. So I think it was maybe about eight or nine months later, she said, I'm going to go play hockey. For me, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because I had to then go, all right, I've been there and I've done it, but how did I do it? You know, because you, you just learn your skills. So she challenged me a lot, which was great for my coaching, but she was also a player who sets her standards so high and still does. Um, the only player I think I've ever coached who had never made an excuse. I remember her not being selected to go to a Europeans and turning around and going, well, that's my fault. I took the foot off the gas. I thought I was in. You know, so she was always very, very driven. Um, and as captain of Scotland, she sets those standards high and is a phenomenal leader with those Scottish girls now.